Okay, we are continuing with our campus travel assignment. Uh, we've done part one, part two, we've created our database in part three, and now we are going to import our CSV files into our MySQL database using the PHP MyAdmin application. So let's go back to our C panel and uh, go back, click home. Here we just created our database. Scroll down to the databases section and click PHP MyAdmin. And on the left here, we see our username. Click the plus sign next to our username, and we see our two databases here our campus database, and this is our disguised WordPress database. So click on the campus database. And we see there are no tables found in the database. And so we're just going to start importing. Click on import. Import these spreadsheets, these CSV files, one by one until uh, we've got all four of them. So file to import, choose file. And I'm going to go to my desktop and find my campus travel folder which should be here and I'm going to start I'm just going to do this in alphabetical order I'm going to start with agent click open and uh, it knows it's a CSV file we need to make sure that the first line of the file contains the table column names click that checkbox and click go and we see table one appears over here. Let's continue. Click import again. And choose the file. And this time do destination. Open. Scroll down. Click the first line of the file contains the table column names checkbox. And click go. Moving right along. Click import again. Choose file. And let's choose Office, Open, scroll down. The first line contains column names, checkbox, click Go. And now the third table has been imported. One more, click Import, click Choose File. And uh, this time choose the Sale file and click Open, scroll down. Click the first line of the file contains the table column names checkbox and click go. And now we see we've got all four tables here. And so if we go back to the assignment, next we're going to name the tables and we're going to name the first table agent. And to do that, we go back to our, our PHP my admin and up at the top here click on campus you see the list of our tables here let's start with the first one uh, we can click structure uh, let's click browse uh, we see these are our agents and so we're going to name this click operations and we're going to find this third table options form here and then we're going to replace table name click with agent. You notice I'm naming it agent singular, not agents, and all caps. Click go. And it looks like nothing is happening, but when we go back up here again and click on our database campus link, we see that now the first table has been renamed agent. Let's do the same thing for the second table. Click browse, and we see that these are destinations. Click Operations, find the third form, change Table 2 to Destination. You notice it's all caps, singular. Click Go. And go back to our Campus link up here. We see Destination has been renamed. Click on Browse for Table 3. We see these are Offices. Click Operations, change the name to Office, all caps, singular. 
go and go back and click database again and we have one more click browse we see these are sales click operations and uh, click on the table name sale singular click go and now when we click on Richard H campus we see that we've got the four tables here now let's let's close PHP MyAb and you notice these were not updated on the left here so uh, to make sure we start fresh let's let's close PHP MyAb and I'm going to click here to close it I'm going to go back to my C panel and I'm going to reopen PHP MyAb and uh, click the plus sign next to my username and then click the uh, campus database here and we see all four tables are now listed here as they are here. So we have completed step four.